Welcome back to this special premiere from Lord Gizmo. Growing peanuts is a fascinating journey that begins beneath the soil and ends with a delightful snack. Today, from soil to preparation to peanut butter, you'll watch a detailed look into each process step by step. So, relax and enjoy this informative video. Peanuts, contrary to popular belief, aren't nuts but are legumes that grow underground. For this reason, the field is cleared first of all. It involves removing precious crop residues, weeds, stones, and other debris. Maintaining cleared fields results in a better pegging process later. To make sure of this, farmers often conduct some soil tests. These tests help determine the soil's pH level, nutrient content, and any deficiencies. For peanuts, soil with slightly acidic to neutral pH levels are considered preferable. Before sowing peanuts, the soil is loosened by tilling to ensure it is well aerated and free of big clumps. Rows are formed in the field using a hoe or other equipment. Depending on the kind and equipment utilized, the row-to-row -row gap is usually from 24 to 36 inches. Peanut seeds are sown 1 to 1 and a half inches deep. This depth is critical because it ensures the seeds get enough soil while preventing them from being buried too deeply. Seeds are placed approximately 2 to 4 inches apart inside the rows. Proper spacing ensures that each plant has adequate space to thrive without competing for nutrients with surrounding plants. The Maximerge 5 is an advanced planter from John Deere that, with its cutting-edge sensors and state-of-the-art sewing system, can do everything from tilling to sewing in one go. In peanut cultivation, watering plays a crucial role. Proper irrigation ensures good germination growth and ultimately a healthy yield. After planting, maintaining soil moisture facilitates good seed germination. Peanuts typically require about 1 to 1.5 inches of water per week during this phase, either from rainfall or supplemental irrigation. Consistent hydration is essential while the peanut plants develop and build their root systems. The plants grow their leaves and begin to blossom at this stage. Knowing when to harvest peanuts is crucial for ensuring the best yield and quality. Different varieties may have varying growth durations. For instance, some varieties mature in 120 days while others could take up to 150 days or more. One of the most reliable indicators of peanut maturity is the color of the inner sides of the shells. The initial step in harvesting peanuts involves uprooting the peanut plants to expose the peanut pods. A peanut combine typically has blades or shakers that go beneath the soil surface, gently lifting the plants and shaking off the excess soil. This process brings the peanuts to the surface while still attached to the plants. Once the plants are uprooted, they are inverted, meaning they're turned upside down. This allows the peanuts to dry naturally in the sun for several days. The drying process reduces the moisture content of the peanuts, making them less prone to fungal infections and improving their shelf life. After the drying phase, the combine moves on to the threshing process. Here, the machine separates the peanuts from the vines. Rotating drums or shakers inside the combine facilitate this separation. The separated peanuts are then collected in a hopper or storage compartment within the combine. The leftover plant vines and leaves are often expelled back onto the fields where they can decompose and enrich the soil. Some modern peanut combines are equipped with cleaning systems that further clean the harvested peanuts by removing any remaining soil, stones, or other debris. Once full, the combine transfers the peanuts, often through an auger system, directly into the truck. Covering them with the tarps, 
They're then safely transported, minimizing exposure to elements or pests and streamlining their post-harvest process. A peanut drop-off facility is essentially a location where farmers deliver their harvested peanuts for further processing, storage, or sale. These facilities play a vital role in the post-harvest phase of peanut production. Upon arrival, the peanuts are weighed to determine the total quantity. Then, the peanuts are dried down to a moisture content of about 10% or lower before being stored. This can be done using natural sun drying or with forced air in specialized drying facilities. Once peanuts reach the appropriate moisture content, they can then be stored for extended periods without significant quality loss. Official inspectors inspect peanuts when they arrive at the buying station. They look at the peanuts quality, including how much good meat there is, size, moisture, any damage, and if there's any unwanted stuff mixed in. This inspection determines how valuable the peanuts are. Then, in peanut processing factories, the journey of peanuts begins with a thorough cleaning to get rid of any dirt, rocks, or other leftover bits. Next, the peanuts are fed into a rotating drum or cylinder equipped with slotted walls. As the drum rotates, the peanuts rub against each other in the drum's walls. This friction causes the shells to crack open. The peanuts and their cracked shells then pass over screens or through air columns, where the lighter shells separate from the heavier kernels. A peanut gravity separator is used to sort peanuts based on their densities. Through vibration and upward airflow, peanuts are stratified on the machine's deck, with heavier, high-quality kernels rising to the top and lighter, damaged, or foreign materials settling to the bottom. And now? We move on to the next crucial step in the peanut processing journey, blanching. This particular stage is responsible for the removal of the red skin that envelops the peanuts. In this fascinating process, hot water or steam is employed to delicately warm the outer skin, allowing for the effortless removal of its protective shell. Following the completion of this particular treatment, a remarkable transformation occurs within the skins, rendering them loose and effortlessly detachable from the kernels. Once peanuts are carefully blanched, they undergo a process known as roasting. This process enhances the peanuts' aroma, taste, and texture by exposing them to controlled heat. When the roasted peanuts are ready, they are finely ground to create a popular spread known as peanut butter. Like every final phase of production, the peanut product, such as whole peanuts or peanut butter, is carefully packaged. It is ensured that the product is stored and transported in appropriate containers. These containers can include jars, cans, pouches, etc. During the processing of peanut products, strict quality control measures are put in place to guarantee the safety and quality of the products. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of peanut harvesting. If you've enjoyed this deep dive, Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And for instant notifications on our latest explorations, tap that iconic bell icon. Until next time, as we uncover more wonders of machinery, goodbye and take care.